So before Hamilton, before In the Heights, there was Freestyle Love Supreme. The original hip hop musical phenomena is playing right now at the Seattle Rep. And no two shows are alike. I talked with the cast members, Anissa Folds and Kayla Milady. I have heard so many good things about the show, Freestyle Love Supreme. Tell me what it's all about. Ooh, yeah. That's a mouthful. We're still <laughs> it is a lot. <laughs> what is it? Yeah, it's a freestyle hip hop improv extravaganza Believe. music. Ooh. It's wildin' out meets whose line is it anyway? Ooh. It's it's for everyone. It's riveting. It's you being a part of the show. We can't do it without the audience. We need you. It's interactive. It's oh. special. It's more words that mean things when we say them. Ooh. Legitimately, the adjectives going out right now are going to make me fall off my chair. I'm not kidding. Hook, line, and sinker, baby. That's what we're doing. But there's some history to what you do now, and it started on Broadway. Lynn Mel manuel Miranda was in this. Yeah, yeah. Um, it started about what 18, 18 20 years ago. ago. 20 years ago. <laughs> uh, a, few, a few people you might know went to Wesleyan, and they just like to do this freestyling thing. It was uh, started by Lynn Manuel Miranda, Tommy Kill, and Anthony Venanciali. They all went to Wesleyan, and uh, when they were working on In the Heights, they were just between breaks, just rapping, and decided, hey, maybe we should take this freestyling thing and and see what comes of it. And uh, yeah, we went to Broadway with our first run in 2019. And then we did it again in 2021. Yeah. <laughs> Time is a construct. Yeah. But yeah, it, it's been really cool just to watch how it's grown. And if you watch the documentary on Hulu, We Are Free Style of Supreme, you can kind of see that journey mm -hmm. from when they were performing in Edinburgh and getting, uh, spoiler alert, some tennis balls thrown at them and then <laughs> opening on Broadway. All right, so you mentioned there is, you got to do it with the audience. Let's talk about the audience participation. Yeah, so our show is not possible without the words, the suggestions, or the stories from the audience. So when you ask us what our show about is about, it's kind of hard to say because each mm. and every night it's so different. Um, truly from the top of the show to the end, we get suggestions or real life experiences from the audiences and we flip them on stage and we create a musical right in front of your eyes based on things that the audience told us. Wow, you gotta be really witty to do that. Like on, thinking on your feet at all times. How, how do you even prepare for that? Yeah, it's just about being present and listening. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, there's a lot going on in the outside world, especially right now and just in general. And we come in to do this show and it's really just about being in the moment. And we really encourage the audience to do the same and yeah. just experience the real joy in real time. I think that that's what makes our show so special. And just really, truly listening. A lot of times we're listening to speak yeah. and not listening just to listen. And I think that that's a, a real gem that I personally have learned and, and take, taken into other situations outside of the show. But yeah, we, that's how we're able to do what we do. Yeah. <laughs> and in this show, it's not something you can really prepare for. There's yeah. no script beforehand. There's mm -hmm. no choreography or dancing. So when it comes to other performers in the cast, you just have to do it. And yeah. it's also a thing of just like following the fear and taking that risk. The first time you do a show as a performer is scary. And I'm sure for some audiences to raise their hand or tell us an yeah. embarrassing story or to use their voice in that way could be scary too. So, yeah. um, you know, just as we are taking risks, we really invite the audience to take a risk with us that night as well. Yeah. I mean, I can imagine like, I'd be scared to, I don't know, say something stupid or offensive or like, how do you, because I, I find as a host, sometimes I'm like, because uh, I don't want to <laughs> the wrong thing. Do you ever come across that? We make sure the audience, no one has their phones. Um, For a good reason. Yeah. And <laughs> I, I mean, about saying things that are stupid, we we encourage that. Like, yeah. the whole thing about Freestyle Supreme is to make mistakes. And that's something that we practice in the Freestyle Supreme Academy is encouraging people to come in and be themselves selves and fall on your face because we're always going to have each other's backs if i mess up someone else is gonna pick yes. me up and take it from there um it, when you make a mistake it becomes a pattern and then it becomes a joke and then you could put it on a t-shirt i love that i love yeah. that <laughs> so can you like can you show me how it works i don't want to put you on the spot or anything but is that okay if like we tried it yeah let's, let's do it job. okay <laughs> so what do i do you have some words for us maybe throw us a few words uh i'll drop a beat and young niece will incorporate your words over the beat ah okay yeah. okay oh okay all right so um should I, i'll make it about our show new day northwest and I'll, I'll throw some adjectives at you are you ready yeah okay um uh, spontaneous uh silly fun Ooh. sassy uh open book brave uh talk show seattle fashion 
cooking amity. Okay, okay. Let's try to remember any of that. <laughs> okay. All right. Woo! Okay, okay, yeah, come on, everybody, yeah, get your cranius, what we doing on the microphone is so spontaneous, yeah, uh-huh, I'm feeling so sadiki pretty, like I'm chilling with Amity. And yeah, she's in the purple sweater get up. Look at her, it's raining in Seattle, getting wetter. You know we got a rattle in the fashion on the needle. Yeah, I'm coming in like I'm just a little beagle. A Grey's Anatomy, you can call me Shonda the Rhymes. Play me Meredith Grey, I'm gonna do a couple rhymes. Open mind, I forgot the rest of the words. I think you said open book. Yeah, what you gonna look, what you took. I see, I see, I, you just did a shrug. Here I go, I'm in the tub, a rubber dub dub. Get my slug, put it in some salt, and it died. Oh my God, please tell us supreme. Why? Come see it. I don't know. I think the <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was some impressive stuff right there. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely have the skills, and you can catch Freestyle Love Supreme at the Seattle Repertory Theater now through March 13th.